YouTube, Jennifer jean -Pierre here and welcome to my channel where we do all things regular degular, everyday fashion, family and fun. So this is part two of my pregnancy journey. And if you watch part one, I suffered from hyperemesis gravidarum while pregnant with Tegan. So this is part two. I asked in the last one, the continuation was, did I relapse or not? Or did I start to feel better and my pregnancy was great? So part two, we are going to see, did I relapse or not? Did I continue being nauseous? Did I continue vomiting? How was the rest of my pregnancy bringing this beautiful baby into the world? So without further ado, let's do this. I am 16 weeks, four days today, and I am feeling absolutely fantastic. And I realized that all of my videos were always super duper negative and when I was feeling my absolute worst. And so I'm bringing something a little different. Uh, to be completely transparent, every single video that I voted or that I recorded before this was absolute truth. Um, Hyperemesis gravidarum is debilitating it is pure suffering there really isn't much out of it that feels good makes you positive or anything like that every day every minute you're just trying to keep down spit I mean like real talk it's not morning sickness it is a true condition that affects one to two percent of pregnant women so we're talking a hundred thousand maybe women in the United States a year which is like nothing. Um, back to me, I am feeling a lot better. Uh, I have not vomited from the hyperemesis in eight days. Eight days, eight days. That's really, really good. I'm excited for that. Uh, I vomited yesterday, but it was because um, of a bad smell at my job that I just, I just, nah. Women are disgusting in the bathroom. A bit more, I'm eating. I'm not eating a lot, but I'm eating and I'm able to hold down water and I'm drinking a lot of electrolyte water uh, because I want to make sure that if this does come back that I am prepared and I am not dehydrated to begin with. So 16 weeks, four days, I will probably be publicly announcing on Instagram maybe around the 19 week mark is what we're I guess going for. We already have an, our, our idea of how we want to announce it. It's going to be very Jennifer, so it's, it's not going to be frilly and girly and all that stuff, because that's not me. Oh, hey y'all, so it has been a while since I have gotten on here. Still feeling okay, uh, 17 weeks and three days I believe it is, so we're doing good. No, I do not have a shirt on. I actually wanted to pop in because when they talk about your boobs getting big and them hurting through pregnancy, they get huge and they do hurt. Like I've always had like super per like perky boobs where my nipples, you know, shut out forward. <laughs> These things are like bags on my chest right now and they just feel heavy. So I'll take that over the vomiting and the nausea though. But what I am experiencing that is the worst is constipation. Constipation is not my my thing right now. Um, we're trying everything. I just drank prune juice and ate prunes. So let's cross our fingers that mama can uh, have a little release. <sighs> hey y'all, so I am sitting here up there where the party is happening but um got a little sick here so I need to decompress a little bit before I go back upstairs and I don't want to be too far from the restroom so this is how I do events now but at least I looked cute for a little bit well hello people it is Jennifer Jean-Pierre who is not feeling that sick anymore and um but I am 18 weeks five days today um I've had pretty much a month now of feeling pretty good I've had some bad days but the good days have definitely overshadowed those so I am extremely happy I 
Now I'm starting to feel every other pregnancy symptom though, which is like uh, swollen feet and round ligament pain, even though I had those for the last probably nine weeks. Uh, what else? Ooh, I'm tired, I'm tired all the time and I'm irritable, irritable and testy. I have not felt the baby yet, uh, but for the first time I actually got kind of uh, excited because you know I haven't really felt any excitement or elation when it comes to this whole pregnancy. But Jermaine went to H&M and found the cutest little outfit and uh, I love rocker tees, band tees, and it's a Guns N' Roses. At the bottom is a sweet child of mine, and I was just like, oh, I can't wait till she gets here so I can put her in that. Uh, but, yeah, so just wanted to say hello, quick update. Things are finally good. Hopefully they're going to stay that way, and if they don't, I am so grateful for these good days. So, till next time. This is hyperemesis. Ew. <laughs> I am almost 22 weeks. Everything I eat comes up. Everything. I spend more time in bathroom stalls at work than probably working, but I was feeling better for about two to three weeks and then it came back. I haven't gained any weight yet. I am five months pregnant. I am miserable. <laughs> I'm in a bathroom, as I always am. And, um, oh, we're gonna announce next week in Houston. But my teeth are starting to rot because of all the stomach acid. So let me go ahead and wash out my mouth. And we'll go back to work and attempt to finish the day. Wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. Quick. Flying with hyperemesis is the worst. The whole time I was praying and hoping I did not have to vomit because I did not want to vomit in that airline, airplane bathroom. I already don't like public restrooms, so it was stressful. <sighs> Hey y'all, so I am 26 weeks and two days, one day, I can't remember, I think one day, pregnant, um, so I only have a couple weeks until my third trimester, um, I had a really hard day today, it's Sunday, Saturday and Friday were okay, I pushed myself a little too much I think, but today I am drowning in despair and just frustration and so much anger, um, because I really wanted to clean certain parts of our house today and I just couldn't. I was really weak, I was really tired, I couldn't get out of bed and it makes me so angry. It is, makes me so angry that I can't do the things that I've set goals to do and I have to understand that this is temporary. I will get back to myself but it's hard and every single time I I think I get used to the hell days because it, it, you have good days, you have bad days, and you have hell days. And you would think that I was used to the hell days, but I am not. Every time it just seems like the first time all over again. Um, but I am trying very hard. I am trying to eat more. Uh, they did put me back on medication, but it made me throw up more, just like it did the first time I took it about 12 weeks ago. So, that's just my little update. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Y'all, so... Um so, quick little intermission for those who have made it this far. I did end up losing close to 60 pounds my pregnancy. And if you're watching, you can probably see that my face was very round. And as the weeks went by, I started slimming down. If you look at my arms, there's a huge difference. Um, but I'm just saying, if you have any questions, please do ask them below. I have so many medical professionals who um, are well versed in HG that can help and please do share because I hope that I can help others get through it as well. Um, I'm at home. It's Thursday. I am 26 weeks 
five days so basically like a week out from my third trimester I am feeling so much better um, I don't know if it's attributed to the fact that my job finally is letting me work remotely for the remainder of my pregnancy or if it's the Fenergan that I was forced to kind of take um, because I was still vomiting and still weak and just currently 17 and a half pounds under my pre-pregnancy weight but that's okay because I do think that uh, with time I will probably uh, gain some of it back. I'm Baby is still growing. Uh, we do have our gestational diabetes test on the 30th, so in a couple of days. And I am nervous to drink that super sugary drink, but I have heard that an alternative is 28 Brock's jelly beans. I actually do the jelly beans instead of the, just the, the drink, and I ate too many jelly beans in too short of an amount of time. So I failed my diabetes test, and I told them what I did, and they were like, well, that's why you failed. So I actually went back and retook it. I just drank as much of the drink as I possibly could. Um, do not do this, but I did have Jermaine drink a little bit of it because I couldn't finish it. There are substitutes, though, to the drink if you are suffering. So talk to your medical professional. I wanted to update y'all. I'm feeling so much better. I'm feeling a little happier. My mental is a little lighter. <laughs> and see you guys in the next update. I can't be strong anymore, y'all. I, I wanna cry so hard. But crying, when I cry too hard, I vomit. <laughs> and I've only had like a very small bowl of oatmeal. I don't really want to keep it in. My mouth hurts so bad. I miss having some semblance of a life. I can't enjoy anything. I feel like I can't really talk to anyone except for those who have experienced this because everyone wants to give you the same shitty ass advice and try to encourage you in the same shitty ass way and it does not help. I'm so tired of hearing, well, it's just a pregnancy. You just got to push through. Well, I've been pushing through for seven months and it's hard. It messes up your physical, it messes up your mental, and my emotional right now is so jacked, and it makes you wonder, like, how are you going to be able to be okay to take care of a baby, you know? So tired of being strong. I'm so tired. I'm so fucking tired of being strong. But I don't know anything else. And I don't want to sit, you know, and complain all the time. And I've got so much to do. I have this to-do list for work. It's a blog. Home that I have to get done. And all I want to do is sleep. Because if I sleep, I can't feel all the symptoms, you know? Everyone is so happy for us. <laughs> I'm happy too, but I... <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I am 28 weeks and two days. And I'm in a lot of pain, not stomach pain or anything like that, but mouth pain. So for the longest time, I thought it was just my lips were chapped from dehydration or whatever it is, but it is not because right here is fine. For me, it's the inside right here. Oh God, this hurts to just lift it. The inside right there and then here on the inside and then my tongue. <laughs> There's like cracks in my tongue and it hurts to eat. It hurts to drink. Okay, so for the longest time, we thought it was a dehydration. I mean, I was self-diagnosing and I just thought 
it was just part of pregnancy that my mouth was dry and I had cracks and sores, I actually contacted my medical professionals and one of the idiot doctors there. She was so horrible. She treated me terribly and she told me, you can't have thrush because um, only AIDS patients have that and you need to suck it up is basically what she told me. Um, still to this day, I want to write a letter because I'm so irritated and upset. It finally took a dentist to let me know that all these symptoms were because of low iron. Come to find out, a few weeks before my C-section date, I had to go get iron transfusions because my iron was so low that I would have had major complications in surgery. She didn't even want to listen to me. A black woman doctor. I was so excited for her. And she was the biggest disappointment. Like even Jermaine, who was the most patient person ever, was so upset. Like we were on the phone like, really? This is what you're telling me? Like she literally just waved me off. Like it's no big deal. Just deal with it. Come to find out. It was something that could have really affected me during my c-section something that i had to go now spend more money to go get iron transfusions and more of my time before having my baby i was going two to three times a week just to try to get my iron to a normal level that i could even have the c-section and she should have known this i'm still angry about that and you know what dr coates disappointed in you also with this doctor the day that they were scheduling my c-section she was supposed to be the doctor and i was like absolutely not i want someone else she will not be cutting me open because she didn't even want to take the time to listen to me nope 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 my surgeon ended up being amazing but yeah dr coates no near a mental breakdown but i won't let myself because i have to be strong because i want to be strong but this shit is hard. Pregnancy has not been kind to me. Oh my goodness, you guys. Today is November 14th and I vomited today, but you know, whatever, not a big deal. But it was a very violent vomit and I officially hit a new low while I was vomiting so hard. I peed on the floor. I thought I would share because at least it's a ha 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 kind of funny moment. Also a I'm a brand new puppy and I clearly I'm not housebroken yet, but her hair hurts and then upper. I can't even touch here without it hurting. I can feel it pressing my teeth. I don't know if I can do this because it's her lag. Ah, oh, okay. You can see right here. Those like white patches. And then I home. It hurts a lot right here. Ow, oh, it hurts to smile, but I feel like I have to stretch it out. Ooh. Well hello people. It is uh week thirty one. I'm thirty one weeks pregnant now. I am currently in the car. Uh, Jermaine's about to play football. I don't know if you can see him over there. And I will head out in a minute. I've got... Where is he at? <laughs> I've got my bonus son with me, um, who has been so amazing throughout this pregnancy. He's just such a caring soul. Like, he's just... I have no words for him. Um, but it's funny, because I'm sitting here fighting back tears. Not only because I don't feel well, but mostly because I just, I feel like my pregnancy has brought out the ugly in some people and the truly beautiful in others. Um, my mom just like, I don't know, she just doesn't get it. Um, sometimes I just call her for comfort and I just want comfort and she's just not able to provide that. She wants to solve, she wants to diagnose, and she wants to do all this thing. And it's like, woman, it's been eight months. We know what it is. Just let it be what it is. And just be like, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Or just go ahead and vent. 
I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna listen to you. Sometimes that's all you need. She wanted to talk about our car. She wanted to talk about me and a job. She wanted to talk about us with our lease, you know, being up in March. It's just like, and I asked her, like, can we stop? Like, this is not a priority right now. Like, I was miserable the day that I called her, and I called her because I was miserable. I've gotten to the point where it's like, okay, you know, I didn't have this beautiful, magical, wonderful journey, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to have a beautiful, magical, wonderful, you know, child rearing. So I look forward to that. I just... I wanted to get on here and just say, like, for those of you who, you know, are having difficulty with people that are close to you, really understanding HG, really understanding when your pregnancy is, is stressful and tough on you, it's okay to set boundaries and it's very okay to stick with them. I am terrible at sticking to the boundaries I've set because there are certain people in my life who I, who can emotionally manipulate me. Um, without even them intending to do. Uh, so please do set boundaries, stick to them, and put yourself first. You are the priority. Well, hi, y'all. Um, 31 weeks, five days. I'm still very sick. I've been sick for, I don't know, hold on. My last video, I was really upset with my mom, but guess what? she got here and she has been so thankful or so helpful that I'm so thankful and she's helping clean and just comforting me and I have no words but thank you thank you thank you and I love her so much um, I'm not feeling better I'm vomiting multiple times a day whether I eat or not something's coming up we HG moms are like legit the strongest because to sacrifice your body basically for this amount of time and your health to bring this baby into the world like there is nothing like it and I have so much rage today you guys I go from sad to just so much rage. I guess this is the uh, face of my pregnancy. It's not beautiful. It's not romantic. It's not exciting. It's pain every single day. It's anger every single day. It's faking it to make everyone else feel comfortable. Because God forbid that you hate it, too. God forbid that you say anything about, I wish I wasn't going through this. Because, oh my God, that means you don't want your baby. That is not it. No one should have to go through this to bring a baby into the world. I have so much rage that, like, I'm literally sitting in a chair looking outside right now. And I see this cute little bug, like a stick bug, and all I want to do is just rip it apart. And I'm like, Miss Animal Lover. <laughs> but I'm so angry. I'm so angry that I have to keep this in for everyone else's feelings and I'm tired of it I am so tired of it I wish I could just rage out but I can't I want to punch the walls I want to literally take a knife to a pillow I don't want to hurt myself I don't want to hurt my baby but I want to get this out because it's just it's killing me. I'm angry. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of being strong. I'm so tired of hearing you're almost there because I'm not there. I don't care if I'm almost there. I'm not there, which means every single morning I wake up 
and I'm in pain and every single morning I wake up and I cannot eat and every single morning I wake up I don't know how many times I'm going to vomit every single morning I wake up I don't know what new symptom is going to take over this mouth thing is killing me you would never believe that your tongue cheeks and lips hurting could affect you so much I'm angry and this is not a good way to be because the baby can feel everything I'm angry that this society just does just treats pregnant women like nothing I'm angry that black women are not listened to and dismissed in the healthcare. I am angry know myself I can withstand a lot I just think I'm cracking slowly well no not even slowly anymore I'm cracking y'all and I don't know what to do Those are my friends, man. Uh -huh. Oh God, there's like a lot of cameras on me. Yes, we are. Video on the camera and all that good stuff. Y'all are cute. This is weird. I mean, you don't want to like photographing everybody else. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> I was going to do a song, but they told me that's safe. Right. <laughs> Come in, Papa. I got the word. Papa, right. <laughs> Come on. What in, Papa? Pop, pop. pop, pop. You got to look up so we can get your photo right. Uh. This is so cute. It is. It's going to be the most wonderful mom. You're going to make me cry. You're going to make me cry? Now. She's going to be the most wonderful mom any baby would have. You are great. You're making me cry too. <laughs> She's gonna make me cry too. You're gonna be. And I have had people come and wash dishes for us. So you guys are sincerely like my family, considering like most of my family is far away. And I know I haven't been able to talk to a lot of people, but I'm so grateful. I'm grateful. So. Hey y'all, it's been a while since I vlogged. <laughs> I'm 36 weeks today. I went to the doctors today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm 30. Yeah, I'm 36 weeks today. I went to the doctor yesterday because it's like 430 in the morning right now. Um, and baby is still breech, which means she's in the frank breech position. So her legs are literally covering her face, which is not a very ideal, uh, position. One for like hip issues, joint issues, and the fact that like you can't deliver, um, vaginally that way. So we are in discussions about a C-section. I'm still vomiting, not as frequently, but it does happen, especially like, if anything prompts my gag reflex like today I went into a public restroom and it was absolutely disgusting and it smelled horrible and I immediately started gagging and then the gagging caused me to throw up all my food the I mean as you guys can see I got some luscious lusciously wet lips right now uh, and that's because of all the cuts and like chapped and just broken skin I have inside as I get a uh, humidifier to sleep next to because I, I think I need more moist air because it's too dry in here so we're gonna try that out so that's one really bad complication and the other is I'm starting to feel all uh, the damage in my esophagus from the amounts of tr throwing up that I did uh, if we do a c-section if she doesn't turn then uh, that will happen probably around 39 40 weeks so I have to go the whole way so I have about a month left <laughs> to deal with this 
but it's better than when I used to look at it and think 24 months to go. I truly cannot believe that I've made it this far. I still struggle. Like, before I picked up this phone to vlog, I was fighting back tears and just... Every vomit causes, like, an increase in depression. It's okay. I had to come into the room because I'm having contractions and they hurt so bad. Wow, y'all. Like, I know I have, like, tears in my eyes and a pineapple on my head and all that. Um, but I'm 38 weeks and, like, three days and my C-section is scheduled and everything and... Um, I am so excited, but I'm also scared, le shitless, um, I'm pretty, I mean, I know everything that's gonna happen in a C-section, uh, but I'm still nervous, but I was sitting here, I was writing a blog post, an open letter to my unborn daughter, today is January 14th, and I was like, wow, I've gone through it, this pregnancy, but I made it. And I feel so strong because of it, because it was so hard. I thought to myself, I can get through anything if I got through this. And then somehow the thought of something happening to Jermaine popped in my head and I just started bawling. Um, I've just never known a love for another person like this. And... I know once I see baby girl that it's going to be multiplied and I'm over here like that's a lot of love like I'm bursting from it <laughs> and I'm also terrified of it because I don't like loss so that's going to be a whole new journey <laughs> for me to navigate but at least I get the opportunity because so many have not and Oh, I need to stop. Because <laughs> if I cry too hard at my vomit, let's do this. One day that I was starting to feel the absolute best, I decided to dress up and we we're going to go take photos and I was going to have lunch with my husband. And right before then, it was uh, two days before my scheduled C-section because Tegan was still Frank Breach, not in a position where I could have had a vaginal birth. And frankly, I did not want a vaginal birth. So I was actually kind of happy that she stayed put. But that day, it was January 22nd. I was feeling good. I was ready to go eat. I looked cute taking photos. And we realized, like, hadn't helped, felt the baby move in a while. So I went to do blood tests um, that you have to have before your scheduled C-section. And I just commented, hey, you know, I haven't felt the baby move. Yeah, let's be real. This is really what happened. So... At the appointment a few days before, they were like, oh, you don't have that much water. Like, we're kind of seeing that there isn't as much water. But we're not alarmed. It's okay. But it alarmed Jermaine and I, and we just kept thinking about it. And then I realized I wasn't feeling the baby move as much. So we decided to um, lie <laughs> and say that I thought my water had broken, even though it had not. So after I had the blood test, we decided to do that. Um, just because we both felt something was off and I'm so thankful that we did that because the first person who looked at the ultrasound said oh no you have plenty of water and was going to send me home and then someone else looked and realized I had like no water no liquid nothing like baby it was dry and it was not ideal for baby especially for two more days anything could have happened so I ended up having an emergency c-section i don't consider it an emergency i guess but it was an emergency c-section by 10 o'clock tegan was being cut out of me and she was here so i don't know it's uh, i'm proud of us because we we felt something was wrong and we advocated for ourselves yes we lied but sometimes we have to do those things and i hate that we have to do those things but medical professionals don't always listen they think they know it all and pregnancies 
you never know what can happen. There's so many complications. There's so many unknowns. So mamas, fathers, if you feel something, do what you need to do to make sure that you and your baby are okay. Powder. Don't call her powder. Don't call her powder. How long are we doing this for, huh? Buy her powder. Because when you're here, it hurts, though. It's like a, it's not like hurt. It's like a weird feeling. She has a bag of bread and sparkly. <laughs> oh, clap. Clap it, girl. Oh, yeah, clap it, girl. Yeah, girl. Look at that. Hi, I'm Jen's husband, Jermaine. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody for being supportive through Jen's or our pregnancy. I mean, it was her pregnancy. She's the one that, you know, it was a struggle. Um, I didn't even know that, you know, half the things that, you know, she was going through um, that she went through. You know, she didn't even tell me she was being selfish. She didn't want to put the burden on, on me, which I wish she would have, but, you know, she's stubborn person I love her but yeah I, I didn't know that she went through what she went through or all that she went through um but I'd like to thank everybody for you know that was uh that went through the journey with her that checked on her you know sent her flowers sent her encouragement um thank you uh I really appreciate it um Tegan is perfect we love Tegan and you know it was it was worth it you know it was hard but it was worth it um uh but just thank you 